hello hello clarity welcome to stretch and refresh sorry for my tardiness i thought i was going to teach in a different spot and that did not work out <laughs> so here i am um find a comfortable seat somewhere where you can um sit with your spine nice and tall chest over hips head over chest And start by just taking your attention inside by closing your eyes or taking a soft gaze. And just take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through your mouth. You can just kind of sigh it out for these first couple breaths. After finding your seat and taking a few cleansing breaths, we'll start to work with um, Ujjayi breath for a little bit and then we'll do some Nadi Shodhana, some alternate nostril breathing, um, and then we'll move our bodies a little bit. So again, just in through the nose. And if Ujjayi is familiar to you, you can drop right down into it. It's just making a slight constriction in the back of your throat to make a sound. So preferably with your mouth closed, but to get there, you may need to open your mouth on the exhale and pretend like you're fogging up a mirror or trying to see your breath in the cold air. So this sound, but close your mouth. Let that become a little more subtle as it becomes an anchor point inside to your breath. A reminder that your breath is there all the time as long as you're living and throughout all the movements that we do today. Which will be a total of like five or six. This is only a 20 minute class. Primarily centered around the meditation that this breath work, tuning into the breath as well as the movement prepares our bodies for. So as you begin to refine your breath, just making it more and more smooth with the inhales and the exhales, that transition, just getting smoother and smoother as you breathe in and out. In an intentional way here to lift the chest, stretch the spine tall, expand across the shoulder blades. And you sip in and in and in and then you exhale, fully out. Inhale big, and exhale. Now bring your hands to um, your heart and your belly, so your chest and your top belly here. For a couple of reasons, for one, it's nice and grounding to tune in and check in, spiritually, emotionally, physically even, just placing hands, but also just to notice as you inhale, is your chest lifting? Is your belly also, can it lift and expand as your ribs lift? And can you use the diaphragm, which is that muscle that's in between your two cavities here, the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity here, the lungs and the belly and the abs, muscle in between that's pulling your lungs down, enabling them to fill up with air. Can we tune into that? And then exhale. Use this muscle consciously to inhale and exhale. And that's a big part of Ujjayi breath as well. Victorious breath. Having victory in the breath here. And as you continue to consciously breathe, we'll take a few more breaths here and then inhale big, lift your arms up overhead, extend through your fingertips. And then as you exhale, just bringing your hands to heart center, press your thumbs against your sternum, inhale one place more. And exhale. 
right, so we'll go ahead with Nadi Shodhana breath. So you can just rest your left palm on your thigh and you can choose your pinky and thumb or Vishnu's mudra, the inside of your index finger and your thumb to close each side of your nostril with the two fingers, index and middle up. You can reference your third eye here and it's just kind of nice and to me, it's kind of like, okay, I'm focusing and not drawing too much attention on this. Uh, like the attention is here, right? The attention is not on the movement of me switching to plug my nostrils or all the other things happening around me, but rather the attention is on the breath as well as where it's going. And um, so as we start with that, just know that this is a practice and that's always the, the claim here is that it's practice and not perfection. This morning for Four Meets Flow, we talked about this idea of perfection, basically letting it go. So same here. Um, that's what practice is, is returning back. Each time you feel yourself getting pulled away and pulled away by like a sound that's happening or a thought or an emotion that's really intense uh, attached to maybe something you're going through um, in your life, you can practice returning to center and returning to your breath. So as you inhale fully, exhale. And then begin, plug your right side just subtly and inhale left. And then you'll exhale right by plugging the left. Inhale right. And exhale left. Long, slow inhales and exhales so it's full. It's going to be longer and slower because it's one nostril at a time. This is alternate nostril breath. This is a breath for balance. Uh, we've been doing it through this Libra season uh, on purpose to bring balance to your left and right sides, your sun and moon sides. I'm sure we all have totally different sides to our beings, our bodies in so many different ways just different things that we want to bring balance to. So continue with this Nadi Shodhana breath and we'll be doing this for a few more minutes before stretching. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. I tend to incorporate ujjayi with a lot of my pranayama. I see, you know, notice the sound, the heavy sound of the breath. It doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to utilize ujjayi and the sound as long as you can keep and hold your attention to the breath. And just like I just did, feel free to adjust your seat if you're cramping or feeling like you just need an adjustment to be a little more comfortable to take the attention off of the external and start to shift it more and more inside and keep the attention on the breath As you fully inhale, maybe even imagine the breath traveling in almost a figure eight, cleansing one side of the brain, the other. One side of the whole body and the other as you inhale and exhale and inhale. switching after each inhale. To exhale the opposite side. And inhaling. Switching again.
continue with your Nadi Shodhana. That you find yourself exhaling through your left side. Go ahead and exhale fully, then inhale, reach your arms up overhead once more. Then bring your palms together, create that friction and heat. Quickly, just enough to cup your eyes and feel that wash over you. To blink your eyes open, making your way into down dog. So starting in down dog, Stepping one foot back, the other foot back, feet hip distance or wider. Mine are much wider right now for space in my back. Bend your knees, send your hips up and back, crown of head down, spiral shoulder blades away from one another and press down in your first finger knuckles. So shift away from your wrist into your knuckles as you grip with your fingerprints. Stretch your chest forward even though it's lowering down and head down. So chest forward, keeping your shoulder blades plugged onto your back as they spin away from one another. Jog it out here if you need to. Maybe this is your first down dog of the day. Maybe it's really intense. Maybe you just wanna find some stillness. And again, down dog on the wall is an option to which you would just Bend toward the wall, extend your hands out in front of you, and you would begin to fold this way if you're using the wall for down dog. That is an option for any elbow, shoulder issues happening with anyone. All right, from there, go ahead and float your right leg high, step it all the way through, lower left knee, top of foot to the floor, and inhale for monkey lunge. Right, so squeezing front heel, lower knee together, hands to hips here, press down as you lift your chest high. You can even bring your hands, I like to put my thumbs kind of almost under my armpits here on the sides of my body to lift, to get length. All right, exhale, sit hips back, toes forward for kneeling stage, stretch your chest forward and you may wait on two blocks maybe on fingertips here, keeping this flat back. You may keep this huge bend in your knee like I do. Connect the ribs and thighs, walk fingers forward, take head toward your chin. Or just stretch your chest forward, hang out here, enjoy this stretch with right hip back. And breathe. And now from here, back into monkey lunge, inhale. And exhale, kneeling stage. Inhale, monkey lunge. And exhale, kneeling stage. Last one, inhale. We're kind of like lubing up <laughs> our hips here. All right, and then back to down dog, second side. Or you're entering from tabletop if you did down dog on the wall. Step your left foot forward. Monkey lunge. Breathe. Front heel, lowered knee, squeeze together. Hands to hips, press down as you lift your chest high. And breathe. You can do this thing again too. If you need to lift your chest, get some length in the spine. Lowering your chin, looking straight ahead is gonna lift the back of your skull and lengthen the spine even further. And exhale, hips back, toes toward you for kneeling sage. Stretch your chest forward. Again, you may be on fingertips or blocks. Maybe forward fold, if that feels good. Left hip back, right hip forward, but still grounding through all four corners toward the front of your mat four corners of your feet, that is. So spiraling, arch your foot forward. And inhale, monkey lunge. Exhale, kneeling sage. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, kneeling sage. I don't know the Sanskrit for kneeling sage. <laughs> inhale, lie. Last one, exhale, fold. Inhale, coming 
Coming to down dog, lower your knees, tops of feet, child's pose. Big deep breaths here so your back body expands. Shift forward and make your way uh, into torso upright. Extend your right foot out toward the right, lining up with the front edge of your mat here for gatekeeper. And this is quick side body stretch. Press down in your right hand, reach up and over towards your left. And back to center, switch sides. So left leg goes out. Lining up the outer edge of my left foot with the back of my mat. Block in front of the knee here. Press down as I'm extending through my right fingertips. Up and over to the left. Back to center. And... Lower down onto your belly. For a quick belly down back bend, because this will change things in your body. <laughs> Press down in the tops of your feet so much that your knees lift, arms alongside, palm facing up. Squeeze your shoulders together on your back and stretch your head forward, toes back, lift up, locust two. Spiral your pinky toes down, spread your toes. Lift with your glutes, lift your thighs up. And lower. Forehead on your fingers, bend your knees, and then windshield wiper back and forth a little bit. Trying to keep your hips on the ground as you go back and forth. And then push yourself back up. Kick your feet in front of you for seated pigeon. So flex your left foot, flare your toe, cross your left ankle over right thigh. Just stretch your chest up, straighten your spine nice and tall here. If this is, if this variation is just too much, like for example, shoving into your elbows or something back here, the goal is for that not to happen, for you to be able to strengthen your legs and pull your chest towards your shin. But if that's the case, you can take needles eye laying down. Flatten the spine, get the same thing. Second side. Right ankle over left thigh, flex your foot, flare your toe, and karate chop it forward. Maybe walking your chest towards your shin. If it's too much on the elbows to sit upright for a seated pigeon, it's okay to take needle's eye. Yeah, you can bring your hands behind your thighs and rock up if you are sitting back and find your comfortable seat. For a couple minutes of meditation, um, take a moment to find your seat. One more time. And I'm still sitting up on a block, but I'm gonna cross my shins here. And find a space where I can sit comfortably. Even sit up against a wall, if it's just too much to sit up nice and tall, it is okay to take some relief up against the wall to flatten the spine. And get a clear central energy channel up and down you breathe up and down. Taking a moment to tune in using any of the tools we've used so far and or any of the tools that you have in your own repertoire and letting your breath ebb and flow, shifting away from the doer into just being.
can even say, I am not the doer. I am here to observe. I'm here to explore the subtleties, the nuances of my own body, my own being beyond my body. My cat wants outside again. Taking a moment to notice your state of being. Just to notice, not to erase all your thoughts or get mad at yourself for not being able to sit calmly without getting irritated. That's okay. But can you just notice all these things and breathe? As you take a cleansing breath, if those things do pull you out of the present moment, perhaps as your breath ebbs and flows naturally again, perhaps you can let those things go. you can practice being here now with what is whatever just as it is here and now As you start to feel that gentle relaxation of stillness come over you, embrace it. <laughs> and say thank you for the opportunity to just be in it. If you find that you're dropping down deeper and deeper in, and you'd like to hang out a little longer, I encourage you to do so. Otherwise, just bring your hands to heart center, press your thumbs against your sternum, inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, maybe bow to your own heart, showing reverence to your life, your body. This practice, reverence to your breath. Blink your eyes open and make your return. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back for another stretch and refresh tomorrow at 11 a.m. So I'll see you soon.